all right so we finished the tree and the house so let's build the landscape okay so the landscape isn't complicated but first we'll just uh, place the tree and the house where they're supposed to be so i'm just going to i'm going to do this directly in the viewport okay so i'm going to just come in here because this is fine yeah and just rotate it slightly and scale it down okay and then the house i can rotate it and then right click here and set this to world like this is the the gizmo yeah i think this is fine okay and then let me just save this so i'll do a save as and then come in here and what i want is i want to just take a null and bring these out so i'm just going to take this here and say out house and then come into the tree and do the same thing or actually i can just take or fine this is this is okay okay now let's create a new piece of geometry and we'll call it uh, terrain so i'm just going to do this fairly simply you know it's not going to be anything fancy so i'm going to do like a host other objects and let's do object merge and i'll bring in the i'll bring in the house and in order to make sure that it is matching the world position set the transform to into this object okay and then uh, we'll do control c control v and bring in the the tree yeah and yeah perfect now the thing is in order to do like what i want is i want to use these the base of this to sort of do uh, like a masking on the ground and then use that for displacement but the problem is these are very heavy geometries and if you try to do masking it will try to calculate all of this and it slows down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press 4 and just select like this much and delete it and do a delete non selected okay so we just have the trunk left in the middle and the same thing here i can come in here to my to my house and again i just want to select you know the basic box over here press delete and non selected so if i hide everything see so we just have this and then i can take a grid this will be my landscape so i can just take this which is fine i'll just make it slightly bigger yeah i think this is okay and just increase the number of segments so we'll make it about 400 by 400 and then take a mask from geometry and we can just mask this yeah so sometimes if it doesn't show up press escape and then press enter again and it shows up okay so just increase the radius till it's like you know influencing a fair bit uh let's also do one thing i want this to extend slightly so there's going to be like an empty patch over here so i can just come into the blast over there and let's try something let me just select i'll press 2 i'll select all of this press t and just kind of move it out like that about that much yeah okay so what should happen is i'll get yeah i'll get this and then at the same time let's merge these two together and see if it works yeah i think this is good okay so this is fine now let's take a we'll press 2 and what i want is let's just take a null so i don't see this anymore yeah and i want like a pathway from the edge over here one coming to the tree and one coming to the road sorry one coming to the door of the house so i'll just do create in context and i'll just take a line or sorry we'll take a curve and i'll just draw out like a basic and then somewhere here i'll set this to nubs so it's smooth and then press Q we'll take another curve and this will be sort of like there okay this is fine oh perfect it matched this thing okay and then uh, what I can do is let's just take these and let's do a resample 
yeah and for this as well or just merge these two together okay and then let's take a sweep and I can do a ribbon yeah perfect so this is good just sort of lower the size okay this is fine and let's try something so what I want to do is I want I want this to be subtracted from the existing mask so I can take a let's take a wrangle and this has an attribute called mask okay like if I press I you'll see there's an attribute called mask so we'll generate an attribute called mask and give the value as zero and then we can take a basic transfer and plug these in and I want to transfer mask based on distance and then let's see if we can visualize this so I can just take a color node because that's the easiest way to visualize set this to ramp and pick up mask so there you go what we should get is this so now we just need to adjust it so just take this and make it small we can come back here to our geometry like to our ground and maybe make it like say 500 by 500 and then um, maybe make it like really small and just increase the, the smoothing okay this is good you know so we have this and then what I can do is I can just take a I can take a wrangle and I can use either the mask or the color like either way is fine to modify the y axis okay so I can do at p dot y capital P is equal to uh, we can do add mask into we can generate a, a parameter we'll call it height and generate this and if you see there you go so you have like your basic you know landscape so I can bypass the color and you'll see this yeah I think we need to adjust this a bit more oh wow okay uh, yeah what we can do is if you're seeing like this you know this happening just increase the resample so we can make this a 0 0.03 yeah there you go and the sweep also we can increase sorry not that the number of points yeah perfect and then we can adjust this or I can just take the sweep itself and make it smaller and adjust this as well yeah and what you can do is you can take a smooth to like blur it out so you can just take a smooth here and we can smoothen out the mask yeah there you go you know so this is this is fine if you don't want it to fall yeah okay so there you go so so this is this is decent okay this is what we want it's not going to be seen too much because the camera angle is fairly sort of flat to the ground so you won't see it too much but this is this is good enough for what we want okay what i can also do is maybe lower the geometry distance over here yeah so we'll get something like this yeah perfect and i can probably take a transform and move it slightly below ground which is okay and you know, like i can take this and maybe move it yeah this should be okay what you can also do as a final thing is i can take I can take an attribute warp and maybe add some noise to this or let's say let's see if we can do this here so I can just take an attribute noise okay and uh, signature is 1d and this will be mask okay. and what it's doing right now it's adding but we can set it to multiplicative there you go so we'll get like a little bit like that what I can do is I can try to take this attribute wrangle make it say 0.2 no uh, yeah let's keep it to zero it's fine yeah so you can have like it being slightly noisy but we can adjust it a bit more so I can just come in here and you can adjust the element size a little bit and lower the roughness but yeah there you go so this is this is fine okay, we can adjust this again and there you go that's your basic landscape so in the next lesson uh, we will put the grass and like a few plants on our landscape. Okay.